In engineering, we've changed our method of teaching and we've adopted the hybrid method of learning. That involves a series of interactions which take place remotely and they take place online using uh, video conferencing and the like, uh, but also an amount of face-to-face -face teaching as well. And when possible, we love to get our students in the labs as well. It is engineering. You have to work with your hands to learn and stuff like that. But um, I don't find that this experience to be um, that hard because in my second year, we actually went to class in the first half. So we went to the labs, we worked with wires, we built machines. So we, uh, we learned theory and physical work. So it was practical uh, as well. So our department were very quick to respond to the pandemic. We were able to move to an online delivery platform within a couple of days. So we were recording um, sessions in advance and we were scaling down our big lectures into small chunks so that if students had to if they didn't have um, a lot of time due to what was going on in their personal lives and home and, and work and things like that, they could dip in and out of our lessons, watch a little bit here and there, do a task here and there, come back to it. The added bonus of working remotely is that students don't just have to wait till they come into the session. Um, that, that, that support can sometimes happen what we call asynchronously. So it's maybe off timetable, it's maybe an ad hoc time through the week when suddenly a group's working on a problem and um, you know it really helps our problem-based approach whereby they can ask a question of the lecturing staff and they can they can interject at, at, at a moment that's very very timely for the piece of work that they're doing you don't have to wait till the session next time the advice i would give is definitely put aside some time in your day in your week to be able to dedicate to study i know distractions can get in the way put time aside and, and dedicate it to the actual study and you'll find that if you put the time in the studying will become easier and the understanding will become easier as well. We get a lot of support and from the beginning when we started this year in September, um, we knew that we had the final project. They put every link, every email of that specified person and what their, their roles in the engineering department. So if we needed help in PLC, this person is there, you know, uh, and stuff like that. So they've been really, really helpful. Everything we could have asked for, it was like uh, they would give us a date in the weekend on Monday or if it's really urgent tomorrow or uh, this afternoon if you're free. So I, I, I didn't feel like I didn't have support. All of our members of staff really do understand that students have a lot going on in their personal lives. You know, they have been affected just as much as we have. So students don't and sometimes can't follow the traditional teaching timetables, platforms, and they have to just be able to do it when they can. We actively encourage students to reach out to us on platforms like Teams. And if we're not available at that time, they send a message. We always do get back to them. I would say like all in all that this experience being in Sunderland University was made easier by the faculty, I would say, by the university. Otherwise, we'd have been lost, even in the online teaching. You know, they handled it pretty quickly. They learned how to use Teams. We learned with them because we didn't know how to use it. So all in all, I mean, it's a good experience. Hybrid learning is something that's potentially new for students and it's it's new in some ways to staff as well. We've got lots of experience now, but it hasn't always been plain sailing. So one of the things we're keen to do as well is to work with students and there is that strong sense of partnership um, and feedback working both ways to make sure that this can work in the best possible way. I can honestly say this, our first year students who have pretty much had an entire year online so far, have really enjoyed it because it's a much more of an informal approach, as it were. And I think students can, can feel maybe a little bit more comfortable sending a message to a tutor than maybe raising a question in a class, you know? So the support is definitely there. In fact, it's probably easier to access us than it would have been if we were actually on campus. Um, so if, if anything, the advice is to is to not be worried that the experience is going to be worse because I actually think students are thinking it's better.